Hey there, howdy folks, T-Rev here, revving it up, fired up and excited. Happy Friday to you, God bless you, and I hope that uh, you have, uh, have had a wonderful day and that you have some exciting things ahead of you in the next few days. I wanted to just throw this out there really quick, and that is, uh, I think we have a commitment crisis in our culture, and uh, I for one, I want to do something about that. Uh, James says, let your yes be yes and your no, no. It's pretty simple. We've talked about this before. But we wonder why we don't understand covenant, and we wonder why we don't understand God's covenant to us, and why we don't understand that God uh, in, not only intends to, but will, because he promises, take care of us and uh, love us and uh, and uh, thinks uh, the best of us and, and uh, has our best interests in mind uh, because we don't even understand commitment. Commitment's so simple. Uh, commitment is basic, you know. I'm going to meet with you on Thursday afternoon at 4 o'clock and then I show up. Pretty simple. Commitment. Covenant's a whole new level of things. Covenant uh, says uh, if, if something bad's going to happen, something's going to go down here, uh, I'm going to get in the way of it on your behalf. If somebody's uh, going to take a bullet today, uh, it's going to be me before you if I have anything to say about it. But if we have a commitment crisis and we, and we can't manage our commitments, how are we going to understand the next level of covenant? So let's start with commitments. Let's keep our commitments. Let's let our yeses be yeses and our noes noes. And as we understand commitment and honor our commitments, then we will begin to understand uh, <clears throat> the next level, which is covenant. God bless.